Hmm. Now, if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and today we're discussing the perceived impatience of today's youth, and we're asking who to blame. Uti and Sansi, people have not told me who, who we are supposed to be blaming in this matter, but please... No, I have told you. <laughs> let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can uh, join the conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow, or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038463. So the phone lines will be open for those that want to call in as well. Uti, Uti you were saying... No, I said you were asking that. You said we haven't told you. I said, in my own opinion, I've shared my thoughts with you. Culture has moved on with the lack of role models. I mean, the list is endless. But anyway, so I'll take are we, this are comment. We putting, are we pinning our, this now on leadership? Or who? what are we pinning it no, on? No, no, no. It's, it's not just leadership. Because again, who are the leadership? Leadership come from within the us. people, yeah. So for me, it's not necessarily a leadership thing. It's just that with time, the world has moved on, first of all, wherever you are, whether you're in Nigeria, whether you're in China, whether, wherever you are, it's now we're switched on where every we're on to 247. Mm -hmm. So that in itself creates a gap where Nigeria is not as fast as the rest of the world, but we have the Internet to see how fast the rest of the world is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so well, what do you want to do, you know? Um, but anyway, let me quickly take this comment by, by a viewer called Benson. It says, by design, youthfulness comes with restlessness. The ability of the guardian to help nurture and direct gives the ultimate performance and fulfillment. That impatience many times is the embedded potential struggling to manifest. If properly guided, the entire community eventually benefits from it. And he asks us, what do you think? Okay, so, so what, before you take what you think, hold on. We have a caller, I think, Kelvin from Aja. Good evening. Thank you for calling. Good evening. Thank you for calling. Quickly, in one minute, yeah, let's hear you. what you have to say. Yeah, I'm, I just I I just seen this program now, and I'm hearing what you guys are saying. Okay, go ahead. And I I think the leader the leaders are they, they really fit Nigerian youth. Okay. They fit Nigerian. If you go globally, you see Nigerians are very industrious and intelligent, but they've not allowed Nigeria to use their intelligence to help this nation. They they fit the youth in all in all parts of government. All all they show us is. Embezzlement, all we hear about the embezzlement of money, they live on statistics like they'll press off with their, with their, with their, embezz, with their embezzled money. So this has really, this has really affected the reading of a common Nigeria. There is no way, they, 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 they don't believe in legitimacy anymore. They don't believe in, in hard work anymore. They believe it's either you get it, either you get it either way. Because the readers, they've done so much, they, 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 they've affected Nigerian psychology, psychology globally. Hmm. I've been to some countries in the world. Nigerians are very hardworking, but our intelligence has been made up to use the other way around. That's why Yahoo cannot stop because Nigerians are, you, the youth are angry. Hmm. They, they, they are frustrated. Education system has, they, everything has failed them. All we see is them embezzling money, embezzling money. Somebody will skip 30 billion, they will give him time of 20,000 naira. Hmm. It's not about nepotism, who you know, Godfatherism, Kapaz. Man, this country is a joke, man. It is well. I, I Thank like you. you guys. Keep it up. But Thank Nigeria, you, you, you know, they fail us. Thank you so much, Kelvin. They fail us. Thank you so much, Kelvin. Um, I disagree. The country is not a joke. <laughs> it's not I a joke. I'm a patriotic citizen, and uh, Nigeria can be a bit frustrating sometimes, but hmm. it is it is not. We are going to get through through definitely. through it. Yeah, <laughs> Wuti, you were going to so, take okay. um um you were going to say something about Benson's comment, right? Quickly. So, yeah, so he was, he was just asking if, you know, what do we think about that in terms of the restlessness of the youth? Absolutely agree. I mean, if you look at any child, they, they're unable to sit still because they're exploring, they're learning. That's how they're, they're you know, understanding the world. So absolutely, absolutely, youthfulness comes with um, a restlessness. It's how you channel that energy. And again, I mean, he does raise a very valid point here about the, the 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 job or the, the place of the guardian or the parent mm. and that's another thing that is being eroded in today's culture mm -hmm. we also have i mean you see some children sometimes and you see their parents and you think really um some people are not some people shouldn't be parents but they're parents and mm. this is not judging this is just the fact that yeah parents also need to take that job responsibility seriously, seriously. yeah if they, you know you are mm -hmm. you you bring a human being into the world and your job is to make sure that this person is a well-adjusted, balanced member of, upstanding member of society. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that these days is lost. I mean, whether it's in the hustle looking for money or whatever it is. See, okay. honestly, I think we blame parents too much. We should also understand that these people we're talking about, they are independent 
individuals. No, hold on. Maybe let me when explain. they're in their, in, their, in their baby stages. Let me explain something to you. It's not about blaming parents, right? You see, everybody right now has a responsibility to play. I, I believe that who, if you say who's to blame, everybody have failed. We failed ourselves. Now, listen. So the, okay. It is only when the child has gotten to a certain age that you can now say the child, you understand, is an individual on its own. Where this, this your morals that you are preaching here, mm. it was instilled when, before you were eight years old. No, but hold on. Listen. Oh, I, no, hold on. Let me make my point, yeah? It was instilled in me. I made the decision to stick to it. I've been in situations where I could have easily flung it out. Yes. Do you understand? So it's no longer about my parents. If I had no, misbehaved, what? someone would hold my parents and say that, no, that's wrong. Right? So the person who chooses to not believe what the parents have, so it is no longer, I've seen parents who look at their children and they're like, this is not the person I, I raised. raised yeah. So in cases like that, you can't really blame the parents. For me, I believe that what we have to, what, um, who is to blame is not the child. Is not the parent. The child wants results. The parent is not producing the result. The society is giving you option of corruption. So what we have to blame is lack of verifiable results. So your parent tells you work hard, work hard, go to school, you go to school, you work hard, and everything around you is frustrating you. And then someone who um, um, carries out fraud, online fraud or whatever you call it, or going nude on Instagram, comes out and tells you, listen, Overnight. this is what I do. Mm -hmm. And they're showing you, you're seeing the result. That is a verifiable result. So all you need to do is to ask yourself, can I do this? Once whatever your, in your conscience tells you, you can do this, that's it. Okay. So without a verifiable Let's, result, no, no, I'm not going our audience. Things. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I have Uti. messages and I'm not done talking, but okay. No, please. You have to, um, Ade um, from the UK says, good evening, ladies. This young lad has, has turned their generation to be competitive amongst themselves. They want to achieve success at all costs. If you go to your village during festival, you will see a lot of comparison, even from parents to next door or village friends who came for the festival, spraying money without, no, without knowing the source of the money. So that part is them. Uh, how about your comments? Yeah, <laughs> and another thing is, I don't think there is anything like, oh, it's not overnight success, I think it's overnight fame. Mm. So that it's fame, overnight fame, there is overnight fame, there is no overnight success. So um, I'll take a couple of messages, this is from Layo. He says, um, or she says, I don't know, sorry. We have to have more people tell their success journey to start breaking the mindset of overnight success. I agree. And Dami says, entertainment shows like Big Brother give an illusion of overnight success. And finally, from Kelvin, he says, I agree with Uti. This generation have seen this branding of success. They are only a product of our current reality. So he's saying that the young people are a product of our current reality. Okay, Uti, I'm going to come to you shortly. But we have a caller, um, Paul from Lagos. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Thank you for calling. Yes, I just want to make a conclusion. I've been following the show. Um, I think I would have to blame the government. When there is no um, penalty for bad behaviors, when people do things wrongly and they are not penalized, the younger ones tend to follow suit and say, okay, since it's this way, I mean, if I can do this and go scot free I'll go ahead and do it. Even the government themselves, they do all manner of things. No one holds them to account. Impunity everywhere. So I think I'll pin it down to them. To the government. Even though some parents are also to blame. Hmm. If you don't lead your children right and they copy the wrong thing, I mean, it sticks with them till they grow up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul. Um, Uti, let me come to you before I come back to Sanzi. She's itching <laughs> to talk. So, so, you know, I was like, you know, this is me and Sanzi having an Uti and Lami moment. Yes, but so. let me just say, let me just say that when you talk about um, the value system, you have the values. That's why you can't relate to people that were not raised with values. That is it. That's one. Two. Yes, people make bad decisions every day. And that is a choice that we are all left with. Like I said, there are people who you will pose that 100 million naira question to, that even in their poverty, even in their lack of food, will not take it. That is a choice. Now, when you even then circle back to 
that idea of verifiable results, when you make it seem like, or when you position it, when you put it in the sense that says there's a lack of verifiable results, there are a lot of hardworking Nigerians today earning an honest living. Mm -hmm. What is missing is that our youth of today don't have the patience for that. So it's not for lack of verifiable. If you seek, you will find. So like I said, I feel that, yes, a lot more needs to be done in terms of our young people who are successful going out there and telling their stories and paying it forward in terms Absolutely. of education. But the reality of it, in the world that we live in today, hard work pays off. It may take time. But hard work Does pays pay off. off. It may not pay off in billions, mm -hmm. but there are always dividends for hard work. Those are the principles of the world. So I now, think even... Uti, but it's a combination of a lot of things. Even the music that comes out from the lips of some of these uh, entertain entertainers, you know, they're telling you, I buy Maserati, I buy Lamborghini, oh, I buy, you know, so, you know, it is, so the thing <laughs> is, it, it is, culture. I mean, that's it is a, culture. It's a, it's a, it's a strong change. attack. Listen, what is happening right now is a strong attack on the very core of even that moral standing that anybody would have. Because when you see, when you see people, you know, keep, pushing those ideas into your head. So at some point, you might not even have clarity of what is right and what is wrong anymore. I mean, if you need, you need to see the boldness on Instagram. Some of these guys that, you know, dress up like ladies are coming out to tell you, a married woman, you better hold your husband very well. What is giving people that effrontery, that boldness? It's because a lot of things have been eroded. But Benson came back again and he said that um, Cosmos Maduka's story is also a good model of hard work and success. You know, and he now says it takes a community to raise a child. But I think um, Sanzi and Uti, you have some more comments because we're we are almost running out of time. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, so this one is, uh, there is no There's name no attached name, to yeah. it. Uh, but it says, the issue is that the system has rigged our compassion and any reason to strive to succeed. An average Nigerian will think twice before helping accident victims because the police will hold you responsible. The system makes it hard for Nigerians to stick to his or her values because we are all out to survive on our own. Our system does not celebrate hard work that leads to success. Absolutely. Uti. So this one, I really enjoyed this comment. Thank you to, the, there's no name. Again, thank you for sending in this comment. Um, patiently waiting for today's show. Very interesting topic. It's been one I've had recently with a couple of people especially working with Gen Z. Now, let me take this one. Let me just break it down. If you work today in an organization and you are not Gen Z and you work with Gen Z, odds are frustration gonna kill you. <laughs> Uti, hold on that minute. Uti, hold on. I think we have a BA from Abuja. Thank you for calling quickly in one Hi. minute. Hi, thank you. I'm enjoying the program, actually. So I set the call. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so... So um, here's what I think. Uh, Go ahead. Generation. Oh, we're losing you. Hello? I think we lost, we lost that call. Um, Uti, go ahead with your, the Gen Z. You were talking about Gen Z. So if you, if you work with these guys and if you manage them, they think on a completely different axis from you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you think about the trajectory of, of your career, you know, you also are not an overnight success. You were where they were probably maybe 10 years ago, 12 years ago, whatever it, that the case may be. These guys don't think the same way. They're not built the same way in terms of, let me give you an example. Okay, Uti, example. sorry, one minute. I think he's back again on the call. Sorry. Abby, are you there again? Thank you again for calling. Oh, you need to turn down the, the volume of your television sets, Abie. Hello? Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Go ahead. Sorry, we can, can hear you. We can hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Oh, you have to cut the line. I can hear you. Okay. Um, Uti. Yeah, I would have loved to hear what he had to say. Um, Uti. So while we're waiting for Uti, I would like to highlight that let's just let's not just look at the negative side of this restlessness and impatience. Mm. Hello, we have mobile banking is as a result of impatience. People don't have the patience to stand <laughs> in the bank. We have instant messaging. 
People don't have that patience to wait for five hours or wait for network to, co to connect or thereabout. Mm. We have washing machine, we have faster cars, we have so many, these are a result of, the reason people are buying it, whoever that created it, I don't know, maybe it was for impatience or just for a better <laughs> life, but hold on, people are buying it, even you are buying, you have a washing machine, you have the mobile banking app, you have all these things, why? Because life on the go. Okay, we don't all are getting you. impatient. Uti, please, let me hear your, your, your final comment. Chicken and egg. Sansi, yeah, your it's chicken and egg. So you can't say that it's the fast life that brought mobile banking. It's the convenience that brought the always switched on. Technology moved on and people followed. I'm but anyway, all I come back to, to, to Gen Z in terms of their communication style. They don't think the way we do. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, you keep asking this question about, you know, what's the cause? I feel that we will never even be on the same page because our brains don't work the same. We don't, we can't see... It's like you holding up a nine and me seeing a six. And you are like, no, it's nine. I'm like, it's six. Never shall we two meet. So the reality of it is the foundation is that they think differently. They've grown up in a different world. They've grown up in an always switched on world. You are thinking, I had the patience to wait till 4 p.m. for NTA to come on. Duh. He doesn't understand what you're talking about. All I you're saying you. is blah, 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 blah. Can I go and watch TV? So we are never going to, what we must also understand is we now need to understand our value the differences you know there is strength in everything we see the the zuckerbergs of the world we see the 22 year old 23 year old successes what can we learn from them as much as you want to say oh these people don't think like me we also do have things to learn from them because the world has changed and they are actually more equipped for the world of the future than we probably are. Mm -hmm. So it's a two-way street, whether like Sanzi, Sanzi said, you don't have to look at it from just the negative. There's the positive side. What can we learn? Because guess what? A baby can teach you something. Mm -hmm. So what can we learn? Then we then need to look at the negative side of it. What is the effect? What yeah. is the negative impact mm -hmm. of this fast life? Mm -hmm. Because it does have an impact. Mm -hmm. And because it's now a lot, it's, you know, it's a bigger pool of people that the fast life is affecting. We're seeing it on a grander scale, mm -hmm. live and in living color on Instagram. So we also need to tackle it from both sides of, of, the, of the divide. But Absolutely. I you know, I, I didn't think the time would just fly so quickly oh, like this, but we've run out of time. But it's our ladies like night out. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, we get to, you know, I, I think I'll be pairing both of you very well. I like the energy in the room. <laughs> You know, but Uti, thank you so much. Thank you, Sanzi. Um, thank, you. thank you to all the called and sent messages. I mean, you are the ones that make us, you know, you know, uh, feel feel alive, like we're doing something good. Thank you so much, everyone that called, and we apologize for the call that we couldn't um, take as well. All right, so um, Waze was birthed from the need to inspire, inform, um, and transform lives, you know, towards actions, and we are starting our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Waze, follow us on all our social media um, handles and tell friends, you know, because this will be an all year round engagement. We'll hopefully get you internship slots in different companies across all works of life. Now, in case you missed today's quote again, Sanzi, can you help me with that? <laughs> All right, so in case you missed the quote, here it is, hastiness and superficiality are the psychic diseases of the 20th century. That's Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Uh -huh, that's your name. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring you another great conversation. Enjoy.